to welcome y'all back to another episode of Tippy's Midwest Cooking Show. Tonight I will be teaching you guys how to make my two-step recipe for my goulash stuffed meatballs. So obviously the very first step is going to be making the goulash. I'm pretty sure most of you know how to make it but just in case I'll post a separate video. So for this, we're going to need our noodles. Hamburger. Some pasta sauce. Some good old corn and some shredded cheese. Alright, so first of all, like every recipe that includes hamburger, we're gonna do the hamburger first. Like I said, I'm just gonna I'm gonna teach a separate video on goulash just because there are people out in the world that you know have never had it before. There we go. All right. So now grab a little water. Pour that on in with our hamburger, like always. And then you just start chopping. I think I've done plenty of recipes with hamburger for those of you that are steady watchers that you know how to fry up hamburger by now. Turn this bad boy on. chopped up. I'm going to hit it with some seasoning salt. And then I've got, i got to find it, I've got some garlic and Italian herbs that I will be putting on it. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of onion powder for this one. You don't have to if you don't want to. Like I always say, ingredients and seasonings are always at your discretion. As you can see, it's starting to brown already. 
so now we're just gonna throw our lid on grab that just washed it we're gonna throw our lid on and let that cook all right I'll see y'all as soon as the hamburger is done our hamburger is done so now we're just gonna take our noodles pour them bad boys on in there and then we'll take our hamburger pour that on in that's my bad I probably should have had this opened right away at least it won't take long there we go one can open. I'm gonna say one just because I don't know how many it's gonna take yet. Alright, now just stir your hamburger in. Nice and good. You want everything as even. Just evenly distributed as possible there we go alright so now we'll turn this bad boy on so that way it's ready to go just pour that sauce on in spatula Yeah, I figured it was going to take more than one can. Alright, so the first can I put in was meat style. Now the second can that I'm about to put in is going to be some good old four cheese. I want to get it all mixed in as good as I can before I add that second can. Again, you're just gonna stir that on through. And as you heat it, your sauce is gonna liquefy a little more. It's gonna thin out a little better. And if you absolutely need to, when just making goulash, you can add a little water to help it. But since this is for goulash stuffed meatballs, we don't want it too runny. I'm going to drain my corn quick. You don't want it too runny. because then it'll cause your meatballs to fall apart. But yeah, you don't want 
definitely don't want your goulash to be too runny for the stuffed meatballs because then your meatballs won't stay together. I'm just going to add one more can of corn quick. You guys are going to start to hear it boil, meaning that everything's almost heated up. that bad boy in there just like so get it all mixed up just like so Not quite. Alright, so I'm just going to throw the lid on. Let this bad boy heat up a little more. And I'll see y'all for plating. And now we're all heated it up. I'm just going to scoop this bad boy over a little. Now that we're nice and hot, it's time to add that cheese. So just, you can put as much as you want, just know this works as a really good binder to help it set as it sits in the fridge overnight. So the more cheese the merrier. that I'm just hear that it's nice and hot see how it's turning out uh, all right that's that cheese As you can see, you can see, you can just see all the cheese, just beautiful. Look at that, just absolutely cheesy. Alright, so now, push it back. Reach above that bowl. I'm only doing a little bowl just because I need this mixture for the goulash stuffed meatballs. Look at that. Just look at it. Oh, so cheesy. Look at that. Oh, 
Just beautiful. It's just sticking to the side of the bowl. There you have it. You can see your sauce, your noodles, your corn, your hamburger, your cheese. Alright, so now you too can make quick and simple goulash at home. Even if you don't want to make the stuffed meatballs the following night. If you just, you know, want a quick hot dish, goulash is the way to go. So all you need is some kind of noodle, hamburger, shredded cheese, and pasta sauce. And I like to add corn to mine. So that list again is noodles, hamburger, pasta sauce, corn is optional, and shredded cheese. And you too can make this delicious meal at home. Yeah, it's really simple. That's what I love about it. I can't wait to show you guys these meatballs tomorrow. I'm really excited for this. Alright, so like always, like it, share it. Drop a comment if you want. I'm still open to recipe requests. So, you know where to find me at. Just go ahead and hit up my inbox. Or, you know, toss a comment underneath one of my pictures. Maybe that meme that I did today. But, I'm hungry. So, I'm going to go eat. Y'all have a good night. Oh, and... I got a new slogan for y'all. Well, actually, it's a slogan that I was raised on. And I'm going to start using it from now on. I was always raised, don't knock it till you try it. Meaning, just because it looks bad, don't say anything bad about it. Unless you at least take one or two bites of it. Alright, so again, don't knock it until you try it. All right, I'm going to go eat. Y'all have a great night. See y'all tomorrow to show you how to make the goulash stuffed meatballs. Step two. Welcome y'all back to another episode of Tippy's Midwest Cooking Show, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys part two of how to make these goulash stuffed meatballs. So, you're going to need hamburger, your goulash, some eggs, and a little bit of a binder. You can use crackers or breadcrumbs. Me, I like to use this herb seasoned stuffing just because it's it gives the hamburger more flavor. Alright, so to start this out, you're going to crush up your your binder like I said whether it's crackers or whatever it is so I'm just gonna take my good old meat tenderizer and Look at that, you can see how thinned out it is. Alright, now we got both sides, they're nice and 
nice and broken down. So, you're going to take your bowl and your hamburger. I'm using three pounds just because of how much goulash I have. And you're just going to throw it on into your bowl. That over for y'all a little. And just like when you make regular meatballs. You're gonna just mix everything together. There we go. We got our ball. Now, we'll just open our bag. Start out with like half the bag at first, and then you're gonna just mix it on in. Half a bag might actually be all I need. Get it all mixed up just like so. Add a little more. Just cover the top. Fold it in. And if there's anything left at the bottom of the bowl, don't worry about it. When you do your, when you add your egg, it'll all stick together. All right, now, You're gonna start out, I say one egg per pound, but I'm just gonna start out with two eggs for now. Grab that little piece of shell. And it's not the end of the world if there's shell in there, but. Most people would prefer not to have it in there. There we go. And like I said, we're going to start out with two just to see. And then you're just going to continue to fold that in. Now that everything's all folded in, I'm going to wash my hands quick and then I'm going to show you guys how to 
make these goulash stuffed meatballs because I have to move some stuff out of the way too. Alright, now that I got everything out of the way, I'm going to teach you guys how to put these bad boys together. So, you're just going to take your hamburger. I usually like to do a decent size meatball. Probably like the size of a tennis ball or a baseball. Just like so. And just get it so it stays together. And then you're just going to take it, push it down in as many places as you can. You want to get this bad boy as flat as possible without tearing it. Like, just like I did right there. But if you do tear it, it's not that hard to put back together. Alright, so now that you have it flat like that, you're just going to take your ice cream scoop. You're going to throw that bad boy on in the center. And you're just going to take your edges just like you would do with the cinnamon roll bites. The breakfast stuffed cinnamon roll bites, I should say. And then, I like to give it a spin. Just It makes it easier for me. And then you take that up over the top, just like that, and then, you gotta be very careful when picking it up, so what you want to do is you're actually going to, got something trying to come through, that happens, I'm only going to show you guys how to make a couple of these, and then I will make the rest. Alright, there you go. As you can see it, gain some size. So again, I'm going to grab a decent amount. Like I said before, baseball or tennis ball sized. And just like so. You can hear it stick into my hands nice and good. That's awesome. And then just push it on down. And like I said, just you want to thin down. All you gotta do now. Again, take your ice cream scoop with your mixture, throw that bad boy on in there like that. If you want, compress it a little. Take your edges. And sometimes you might need to wipe down your non-stick pan because after a while the fat from the hamburger will cause it to not want to work. Alright, so we'll take the last piece or the last side and seal it up and get it all closed off just like so. Alright, I showed you guys how to make four of them, so I will finish up, and I'll see you guys when it's time to put them in the oven. Got them all done. Three pounds makes eight of them, and they're ready to go in the oven. Like I said, 425 for 30 to 45 minutes. If you want them a little more crisp on the outside, they'll still be soft on the inside, go for the 45. Otherwise, if not, go for the 30, cut them open, make sure they're completely done on the inside, and if not, obviously throw them back in until they are done.
All right, I'll see y'all in, I like mine crunchy, so I'll see y'all in 45 minutes. It's officially been 45 minutes. Now, time to show you what these bad boys look like. They blossomed open on me. I think I got, I'm gonna grab a spatula. Just cause it's gonna be like that. And there you go. There you have it. That is how you make my stuffed goulash meatballs. It's a two part process. So, your first part, your ingredients are noodles of your choice, hamburger, corn is optional, pasta sauce of your choice. Shredded cheese of your choice, and then let it sit in the fridge overnight. And then the following day, all you do is use your goulash, hamburger, eggs, and some kind of binder to go along with the egg, so cracker, breadcrumbs, or if you want, you can use stuffing like I do. All right, so there you have it. That's how you make my absolutely delicious goulash stuffed meatballs. Make them for your friends, your family, whoever you want. Like it comment share I'd like to apologize for you guys having to see my belly bare in this video earlier I didn't wear a shirt because it's a really messy recipe and I don't want to get my shirt dirty so again the ingredients first part noodles of your choice hamburger corn optional pasta sauce of your choice shredded cheese of your choice put it in the fridge overnight next day hamburger your goulash eggs a binder to go along with the eggs like cracker breadcrumbs or stuffing alright I'd like to thank y'all for watching another episode of Tippy's Midwest Cooking Show. Oh, before I forget, cooked in the oven on 425 for 30 to 45 minutes. Alright, back to what I was saying. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching another episode of Tippy's Midwest Cooking Show. We got plenty more recipes coming for y'all. Y'all have a great night. I'm a go eat.